Hi, my name is Jason Tuisson, and this is my personal case study. I am a 35-year-old working and living in the greater Toronto area in Canada. I am a gamer and have always enjoyed working on and playing games. I am taking this course, Creative App Development, at Falmouth University to strengthen my skills needed to produce my own games on various store platforms. My background is in art and technology. I hold a bachelor's degree of animation and currently work as a technologist. My weakness lies in coding, although, although I can code at a functional level, becoming proficient enough to create code creatively is my goal. So far, my accomplishments in this course have been around prototyping an application in the Unity game engine during the App Jam. I chose the Unity game engine because of its use of the c -sharp programming language, because, and it also has a very user-friendly interface. The c -sharp programming language is streamlined for people new to code, like me. The Unity game engine is also widely used in my current workplace, and becoming more versed in the software may lead to new and exciting roles. My research during the App Jam has been through a couple beginner-level tutorial series on Udemy. The tutorial series focused on game art creation and coding in c -sharp. The game art creation aspects of these tutorials were not my primary focus. Although still spending a lot of time on art, I used my own workflow. I specifically enjoyed the lessons based around coding AI. It, I know now how to pinpoint positions of game objects, set enemies on collisions, and shoot projectiles in the direction of the player. These concepts can be repurposed to create a multitude of AI variations, and I can't wait to start creating more characters. The instructors of these tutorials explain the concepts at an alarmingly fast pace and it was pretty difficult to keep up at times. Miswriting one character can lead to an entire AI mechanic to malfunction. This happened to me when I mistakenly used a less than symbol instead of a greater than symbol in reference to the distance between the enemy and a player. After about two hours of checking variables and staring at code with a frustrated look on my face, I saw the error. As soon as I made the change to the operator, the enemy character came to life and was chasing down the player. Overcoming this coding challenge was an achievement very relevant to my success as an independent game developer. As I build up a rapport of these instances of debugging and fixing problematic code, I am preparing myself for future obstacles. Coding aside, efficient time and project management was another great lesson learned throughout the App Jam. I believe without these skills, it is next to impossible to create anything in a self-motivated scenario like the App Jam. Knowing this from previous App Jam experiences, I started out by jotting, jotting down spans, the time spans that I could devote to the App Jam. I, f I made sure to give myself extra time because I knew I would not be able to follow my schedule completely due to external factors, such as those wonderful game distractions. One thing that I can definitely prove on in this area is properly dividing my time amongst separate facets of app development. These facets being art, asset creation, gameplay, gameplay programming, and sound design. I found myself spending more time creating art assets and in the end not having enough time to implement these art assets. To remedy this, I've set up a GitHub project board to separate my tasks and measure the progress I've made so far. This will also help me to see if I'm spending too much time on one aspect of development, like art asset creation. I will also create daily and weekly goals for completing these tasks. Logging my time as I complete these tasks will help me better gauge similar future tasks. To, specific, to specify my future goals about this app or regarding this application, I would like to build a complete game level by the end of the study block spending 15 to 20 hours a week developing the application. This goal is very achievable based on what I've completed so far. Having produced three enemies with basic AI, I believe I can repurpose many of the concepts learned to build more custom enemies as well as, as a simple card system to cast spells. I have a library full of tutorials that can help me through, these, through relevant concepts needed to complete this game. Also, I have a great support group of friends and colleagues to help me along the way. Thank you for watching. Now let's do some research.